in its very basic form, ACAR is, is a protocol. This protocol is defined by the AEEC. It's through a series of standards. Today, Rockwell Collins views ACARS as a system, a global system defined by globally accepted standards that are, is used for safe, reliable information delivery between aircraft, airlines, and air traffic control. ACARS has evolved considerably over the past 40 years. What began as a relatively small operational network has evolved into a global network used by air traffic control, hundreds of airlines, and delivers 9 billion messages annually. What started off as, as a VHF-based system has grown over the years to accept many satellite forms such as Inmarsat and Iridium, high-frequency data link. And in the future, now we see IP. ACARS will support IP, cellular over cellular, Wi-Fi, or broadband SATCOM. New ACARS capabilities associated with the connected aircraft have already emerged. For instance, the A380 has a unique protocol that accepts ACARS messages over IP links, and we've adapted the ACARS network to accommodate that for the airlines without the airlines making any investments in their own systems. As we move forward, now we have ACARS over IP. This is the ability of ACARS to travel over any IP link, whether it's cellular, Wi-Fi, or, or broadband SATCOM. Um, ACARS is very adaptable, very flexible. Um, it serves multiple applications, many applications used by the airlines, used by air traffic control, and many, many other aviation stakeholders. It's also proven to be very flexible to new communication links. And we've seen the links evolve from the very beginning. Now we're into broadband. And finally, and probably most importantly, it's reliable, it's highly available, and it's trusted by the airlines for their safety of operations.